Hey guys, I'm back. Um, as you can tell by this video, um, this video is going to be about women or even men in some cases bleaching your skin to get a lighter skin tone. So as you can tell by the title, it might be a little heated because I get heated when I talk about this topic. I might raise my voice. I might do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just like, this is my venting video. You can call it because a lot of people have told me to voice out my opinion on it on my blog and stuff like that and I try to avoid it because I've tried so hard to avoid like controversial issues on my channel or like touchy topics but I'm so irked like everywhere I look people are bleaching your skin why are you bleaching your skin your skin color is your skin color it's determined by your DNA it's not determined by anything else why are you bleaching your skin to look lighter, to look like the person next to you, to look like the Barbie doll image that is portrayed in the media? Keyword is the media. The media is there for entertainment. It's not for us to live like we are in the media. You're bleaching your skin for what reason? I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me why it's acceptable or it's okay for African-American women. For African American women to bleach your skin, for Africans to bleach your skin, for darker skin tone races to bleach your skin. Because I can't wrap my head around it. And I've been thinking about it. Uh, my friends and I, hashtag Diva Life, we were talking about this yesterday and I got so heated, like they had to change the topic because I'm trying to wrap my mind around why somebody will wake up one morning and be like, I don't like my skin tone, I'm going to start bleaching it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to start talking about those mothers that be bleaching your kids' skin tone too, because that's another issue. So, my reason that I'm, I'm trying to come up with a reason why I can see why it's okay. Reason number one, you're doing it because you want to be lighter. You're doing it for yourself or you're doing it for a man. If you're doing it for yourself, I'm sorry. Somewhere along the lines, some self-esteem issues are there. That needs to be addressed. Number two, you're doing it for a man. Why are you bleaching your skin for a man? If he loves you as you are, why you got to bleach your skin for him? Maybe you're trying to get a man that is not interested in you. I don't know. Maybe it might be a personality. Maybe it might be the way you are insecure about yourself. So if you're insecure about yourself, what makes you think a man will want to deal with those baggages? Like, I can't, I can't count like how many times I've seen somebody, and I swear to goodness, they were either my skin tone or even darker. And I see them like three months afterwards, and Heffa is like, Two shades from being Michael Jackson with like orange reddish cheeks because the chemical in the lotion stops your melanin from developing those that that skin color that is in your DNA. Your skin color. Like if I start bleaching my skin, it's and these bleaching products range from lotion, um, serums and um, bar soaps. Yeah. So if I start bleaching my skin, it's not going to be a drastic effect overnight, but trust, like two months, three months later, you're going to start seeing some differences. And I don't know who you're trying to fool because everybody knows your skin tone and then three months later, you are two tones from being Michael Jackson. Like, why, why, why are we so insecure about ourselves why can't we just embrace our own beauty if you embrace your beauty trust lo and behold the guy that you want out there he is going to see you and be like wow she got a lot going for her if you don't embrace your beauty and if another person looks down on you or even another race like this race issue has been going on since i don't know but I refuse to talk about this race issue. I have nothing against Caucasians. I have nothing against anybody. But if you're bleaching yourself and a Caucasian person or a white person looks down on you, like, you really can't complain because 
you're you're not embracing your own beauty and your own pride. What makes you think that they're gonna embrace your beauty and your pride for you? Like, I don't know. Like, guys, please leave some comments down below. Like, I I just I I, I want to know why people do it. I I want to see the reason behind it. You know, because especially the mothers, the mothers that I've noticed them bleaching. Like, you can tell this heifer was like. 10 shades darker than me and like three months later she's 10 shades lighter than me how is that possible and you're bleaching your skin your daughter or your kids are going to see you they know that mommy's bleaching your skin how is your daughter or your son supposed to be comfortable in your skin tone like what message are you trying to send to your kids and then your kids are going to carry that and it's going to affect their self-esteem issues because they're going to wish that they're lighter and it's going to keep going down generation to generation so I don't know. I think mothers that bleach your skin, they're being selfish because they don't care what they're portraying to their kids. It's so far as I look good. And I don't understand why you're bleaching your skin because you were born that skin tone. God made you that way. It's time that you embrace it. It's no, there's no reason for you to go buy all these products, which range from like $40 to the hundreds, to bleach your skin. And us portraying that Barbie doll image, the Barbie doll is created in the lives of a Caucasian person. So if we are chasing for that Barbie doll image and we say, oh, white people look down on us, excuse me, you're chasing for the Caucasian image. I don't know if I'm making sense right now because I'm just heated. So I'm just like ranting on. But Barbie dolls are made a certain way, to look a certain way. So if you are here and you're putting on all these weaves, I, like, I swear to goodness, there are some women, I know there are some women that the husband has not been seeing their real hair before. Like, I don't care if it's natural perm dreadlocks, I don't care. Because they cover so much with weave-ons, like... Why are you covering up your hair? Be yourself. You're doing a hundred times as much to look like something you're not. And then there's another topic where mothers will start bleaching their kids' skin tone. And it's fine. Like, people see it and it's like, oh yeah, it's fine. No, it's not. The kid is so young. And let's not even talk about the health effects that comes with it. Because it... It, the chemicals that bleach your um, that stops your melanin from producing the uh, skin color, it causes cancer. The kid has nothing to say. The kid doesn't even know that you're being bleached. And then you're putting this chemical on your child's skin. What does that say about you as a mother? What are you telling your husband? You're not insecure about yourself. You're not insecure about the kids that you gave him. And then there are the mothers that keeps your kids' hair in braids and weaves. I've seen kids like five years old and they have on a weave on with bangs. I'm like, how is that kid gonna grow up and be like, yes, I wanna wear my hair out? Because ever since they were small, mommy taught her how to wear a weave on and look like the Barbie doll image. Like, it's so many things that like have me raged up. like. When you do this, at the end of the day, you look at yourself in the mirror. What do you see? Because it's it's not something that I've seen people do and they stop. No, they keep doing it. And then they keep getting lighter to the extent that their cheeks, like you can see, like I've seen so bad, like you can see their veins on your cheeks, like their cheeks turn green, orange, just like, who is born and has green cheeks? Who is born with orange cheeks? Who are you trying to fool? Like, why, why is this going on in our community? Why, 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 people, why? Like, I'm just pissed. I'm going to cool off because I feel like I feel my face about to like sweat a little bit because it just irritates me so badly. Like, I'm not knocking anybody that, you know, has your makeup on point, has the weave on on point, or anything. But it gets to a, a time where it's like, yo, it's too much. 
you going to the store, buying all these wee ones, buying all these things, just to impress your man, and your man is not in love with the person he thought he was. At the end of the day, lose the weave on, lose the makeup, lose all that bleach and stuff. Who are you? You're the same person that your mom gave birth to how many years ago? So why, why are we like, I don't know. This is what I gotta say. It is time that we take control of what God has given us. We have to embrace what God has given us. We have to love what God has given us. When you have self-confidence in you, trust. It shows. It it just you you, you just mm, you just secrete confidence out of your pores 24-7. You over here bleaching yourself, making sure you do this and do that and do that and do that. And at the end of the day, the man that you try and probably, probably try and get, he's not in love with what he sees. Like, I don't know. And then Vibes Cartel, the Jamaican uh, musician, I swear to goodness, I'm going to try and find this picture so I can put it up. This dude was, he was in dark, dark, but he was darker than me. I know that. Now he's as light as it can be. And you can't fool anybody because your lips will be still black. Your knuckles will still be black. Your elbow will still be black. Like, just, it's time that we African Americans, we just take what we have and we take it and we embrace it to the fullest. Because what God has given us, trust, it is, it is beautiful. What God has given me, it is beautiful. It is, it is good. So it's time that we take what we have. And as a society, we need to come together. We need to embrace what we have. I had to vent. I had so much piled up inside of me. Like, if you're bleaching your skin, you're giving, you're giving your kids self-esteem issues. The kid can't love herself for who she is because she's not pretty enough. She's not light-skinned enough. She doesn't look like the characters she sees on Disney Channel. She doesn't look like the people on MTV. The person that she can build her confidence from is you, her mother. The person that she can build her confidence from is her next door neighbor who is dark and beautiful. But then when she looks around, everybody is lighter than her. So what's she going to do? She's going to start bleaching her skin. She's going to start hating herself. She's going to start thinking, oh, I'm not worth this and I'm not worth that. And then she's going to grow up with dating issues because she's going to have low self-esteem. One thing leads to another is all the chain reaction. So what are we, the question, I guess the question I'm trying to ask is, what are we as a society doing to ourselves? We are always putting the finger at a white man because the white man is looking down on us. The white man didn't give us this because we're black because of our skin tone. How is the white man supposed to love your skin tone when you don't even love yourself? How is the white man supposed to wake up in the morning, see a black person's picture on Facebook, on the internet, on Instagram, on any place, and be like, wow, she's beautiful? When we are all trying to strive and be like the white man. I'm going to stop this video right here and yeah, I'm done. Um, I don't know. There's a lot we got to think about. Let me know how what you think. Post your comments down below. Just, yo, know, let me know. I'm not going to stop no comments. And I don't know if you guys noticed, I did this video with no makeup because I'm just, I'm just here as, you know, as how I am. But, yeah, let me know your comments. Let me know your thoughts. Anything I missed, let me know. If you're for it, if you're against it, just let me know. I'm not going to block any comments because I believe in uh, freedom of speech. Please, people, do not start cursing out other people because, yeah, then that's when things start getting ugly on this channel. And I'm, I'm not trying to have that. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. And these earrings...
Ghana Kitty Treasures. I'll put the link in the description box. GhanaKitty.com.